Hey everyone, this is Ashish. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about cache secured ports. So I'll start sharing my screen and then we can uh, see. Okay, hope you guys are able to see my screen. So what is a cache secured port? So there are a lot of articles, videos already uh, on internet as to what is a cache secured port, uh, which you can uh, look at. Uh, what I'm going to talk about is uh, the approach that I take while doing the uh, cache secure ports. So that is that is where I'm going to focus more uh, in this video. So I'll quickly uh, brief about what is a cache secure port and then uh, I'll share some of the examples that I have. Uh, I'll discuss some of the examples that I've shared in the past on my uh, Twitter profile as to uh, how and when I did uh, cash secure ports and at portfolio lab level, how can we, uh, you know, uh, uh, do cash secure ports to make consistent, uh, I, I won't say consistent income, but yeah, to make some uh, return, either make some return out of it or, you know, invest in stocks at a lower price uh, than the current market price. All right. So what is a cash secured port or in short, we call it CSP. So in this, what happens is you choose underlying, you choose any underlying. So for example, in this case, I've chosen Infi. So Infi current market price is 1878 for the spot price. The future is at uh, 1888. So at 1878, uh, and you want to invest in Infi, but at a lower price, say 1800 or 1750 or whatever. So what you do is instead of outright uh, investing and buying in fee shares, what you do, you sell a put now, uh, which is tried to choose. I'll come to that, uh, later. So you sell a put. So once you sell a put, either you will make that much money, the amount of, uh, premium that you have collected, either you will ma make that much money or if in fee falls from there, falls from here to the strike that you have cho chosen and minus the uh, premium that you have collected for that put. At that price, you will get to uh, invest in Infi stock. So right now, Infi is at 1878. Let's let's consider we chose we choose uh, April expiry and we decide to uh, sell an 1800 put. Okay, so 1800 put is currently trading at 36 rupees. So you have sold an 1800 put. You have collected 36 rupees as a premium. The lot size of Infi is 300, which means you have collected about. 300 into 36, 11,000, about 11,000 rupees you have collected in premium. Okay. And in fee underlying is at 1800. You have sold the put at 36, which means your break even is until 1800 minus 36, which is 1764. So if in fee falls below 1764, your position will be at loss. I'm talking about expiry at the expiry. Obviously there are a lot of things that can happen in between. You are not supposed to be worried about where entry price is going as long as your put is uh, cash secured, meaning as long as you have enough cash in your account to invest in entry uh, stock, if the stock falls to 1764, which means you need to have 1764 times 300 shares you will buy. So you need to have five and a half lakhs, close to five, five and a half lakhs or precisely 530. So 5.3 lakhs, three lakhs with 5.3 lakhs, you have sold this put. So assume you have 5.3 lakhs in your account. You have sold this 1800 put in April and you have collected about 11,000. So 11,000 is what 2% of uh, the, the amount that I'm uh, keeping in my account. So either you make 2% in one month, you know, by the end of April expiry, either you make 2% of your uh, investment or you get to buy shares of Infi at 1764. So 1764 is how much? About 5%, more than 5%, five and a half percent lower from the current market price. So either you buy Infi worth five and a half lakhs at a price which is five and a half percent lower than the current market price or with that amount, you make 2% uh, return in a month. Now, 2% return in a month is not bad. Uh, you know, uh, people 
if you are a passive investor uh, you know if you are a passive trader then 2% per month is uh, definitely not bad if you have a full time job you are doing something else and then if you can consistently make 2% per month it is it is very good so so that's that's about uh, cash secured put what it is now this is uh, the pro uh, payoff profile of uh, the cash secured put which you have sold so as long as infi trades above 1800 you will make this entire amount uh, 10815 which you have collected you will pocket this entire amount from 1764 to 1800 depends on where uh, infi expires you will make uh, that much difference so if it expires at 1780 it means you will have to uh, pay 20 rupees as premium and you have collected 36 which means you have to you, you will make about 16 rupees in that trade now what you can do is you can uh, what i do is uh, i do it at a portfolio level you know market's inherent nature is to uh, go up so what i do is at portfolio level i keep about 15 20% in cash secured puts i am a non directional trader meaning i'm mostly uh, short volatility and uh, i'm mostly uh, delta neutral uh, short volatility trades that i have opened in my book which means i'll make Uh, money as long as uh, the stocks that i have position in are not moving much around are are not moving uh, much you know it, it's not happening that one day it is moving 10% up or 10% down so as long as the stocks remain range bound i will make in that uh, option scope on top of it what i do is i invest about 15 20% of my account size in cash secured puts so if you have uh, seen my uh, blogs and videos on position sizing you would know that i have about 40% margin free almost always in my account so that is that is definitely not a problem and i am currently not fully invested also you know most of my money is in cash right now it is invested about uh, 25 30% i have invested uh, but at portfolio level this is what you can do so let's say if you have a portfolio of about uh, say 50 lakhs what you can do is uh, you can you know uh, you can invest in cash secured puts worth 10 lakhs so one is let's say this infi you have sold this uh, infi put another uh, stock uh, you can choose let's say reliance okay so reliance currently trading at 2600 and its lot size is 250 which means again it is a, a 5 lakh worth underlying so you may choose to sell a 2500 put which is trading at 45 so you sell this now again you have collected 11000 rupees in this trade and again if reliance trades at 2655 sorry 2455 2500 minus the premium which we have collected so that much times the contract uh, lot size which is 250 so you need to have 6 lakh 13000 in your account so 6 lakh 13000 plus 5 lakh 30000 that's about 11 and a half lakhs for a 50 lakh account size and on the on that margin you will make uh, 21 22000 which is like 2% again it comes up, comes to be around 2% so you will make 2% as long as reliance trades above 2500 infi trades above 1800 and this is your cash uh, secured uh, portfolio obviously you will uh, trade with the remaining amount uh, the usual strategies uh, that you do so that's how uh, cash secured puts work and that's how you can you know uh, co construct a portfolio of cash secured puts based on your account size there is no right or uh, uh, wrong uh, method in doing cash secured puts uh, there are a few advantages disadvantages of cash secured puts which i'll uh, talk about uh, but let's first take at some of the examples that i've posted on twitter so you know what what was what was my thought process in uh, you know using those csps okay so on march 14th there was a big uh, downgrade in jubilant food and uh, you know the stock i think opened at 6 or 7% lower and the iv is expanded okay so jubilant food was trading at around 2600 that day and 2300 put uh, it opened at 60 65 and from there on it went on to make a high of 100 i sold this put on an average of uh, 65 to 
uh, across different accounts. So, and when I posted, it was trading at around 80. So I posted that you one, one can sell it uh, at 80 rupees. So either if that, uh, if Jubilant Fruit expires above 2300, these 80 bucks are all ours, which is about uh, three and a half percent in two weeks time. Or we can take delivery at 2200. Now, uh, this uh, Jubilant Fruit has been uh, falling relentlessly uh, from 4600 odd levels. So the stock is already halved. And it's not, although it's a uh, momentum stock as in uh, high growth uh, stock, it's not a value pick. But uh, uh, but we can uh, trade this. So uh, we, we can either uh, get delivery at 2220 or, you know, we make 3.5%. And it happened that uh, within a matter of... Um, all right. It, it happened that within a matter of one week or so, uh, even less... Uh, 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 this put traded uh, less than 20 and uh, at which, which point I covered. Another example is uh, Manapuram. Again, it fell from 160 to 130, 120 odd levels. And uh, from there on, uh, I posted this trade. Again, uh, IVs uh, were through the roof. And Manapuram uh, was trading at, uh, just, just give me one second, guys. So Manapuram was uh, uh, trading at around 123 and again uh, at 110, uh, I chose the strike as 110 and sold a put there. So either one gets to make 3.4% on the required margin or one gets uh, delivery at 107. So, so whenever there is a big fall in, an, uh, in a stock, and you believe that uh, the stock is a good stock, a good fundamental stock, uh, you know, which you can invest in. Then whenever there is a big fall and IVs are through the roof, this selling CSP is always a good idea. I cannot remember a case wherein, you know, I have uh, sold a CSP uh, after a big fall and, uh, you know, I lost money there. Most of the time, uh, it... It has to be the case, you know, you, you also need to understand what is the reason for that fall. Now, uh, for Jubilant Food, the reason for the fall was uh, management change or I think uh, CEO resigning or something like that. So it is not a fraud or something that is happening in the company. You know, it is not a corporate governance issue, uh, issue or it is not something which is going to take, uh, you know, uh, going to impact the business, underlying business a lot. So in such cases, it is always, you know, a good idea to sell uh, CSPs. Uh, let's take a look at more examples. So LIC housing finance, all the trades that I've posted on Twitter uh, for CSPs have done well. Not a single trade, uh, you know, uh, was such that did not do well. So LIC housing finance, again, uh, I posted this trade 390 port. Uh, it again worked well. I'm not able to see the quote tweets otherwise. I don't know for what reason I'm not able to see code tweets. Otherwise, you know, I, I could figure uh, that at what price uh, we close this trade. Let's try this. Yeah. So in two weeks, it uh, you know we had initially planned for a 1.8 percent gain, but in two weeks, when we are making 1.6 percent, then it makes sense to exit the trade and look for other opportunities. Okay. So that was that. What else? IEX again a cash secured put uh, that did well. I think again we. Uh, IEX and MLM fin. These are the two other examples. In fee on the day uh, when it fall, when it fell uh, from 800, 900 odd, odd levels to 600 uh, something, 600. So when it made low and tried to reverse from that uh, point, I try, I sold this uh, 600 put. Again, it uh, worked well. So let's take a look look at uh, MLM fin also.
Yeah. So we made about 2.5 to 2.7 percent on full margin required for delivery. So if your account size is low, say 25, 30 lakhs, uh, then try to choose underlines which are uh, five, six lakhs. Don't don't do cash secured puts uh, in an underlying which is uh, which is say 10 lakhs. Someone something like Vedanta. Vedanta is right now trading at 400 and uh, lot size is uh, 3,100. So it's like. Uh, a 12 lakh underlying or something like zeal uh, which is again nine lakh underlying so try to do cash secured puts in good fundamental stocks and uh, the ones which are uh, you know the underlying value is around five six lakhs and try to do at uh, say 15 20 percent uh, of the portfolio level so that's how uh, csps work so when you are doing csp uh, what else uh, so uh, this is where, uh, where city uh, put option selling. You can read about uh, what happens when you sell put option. It, it applies to stocks as well as it applies to index also. So let's say if you want to invest in uh, Nifty ETFs at a lower price, but the, the problem in index is uh, the IVs are not that much, you know, uh, where you can really uh, take good advantage. So you, you cannot really sell a 10% away strike uh, put option, put option and hope to make decent returns out of it. So with index, that's that's one disadvantage. But with stocks, whenever there is a news or whenever there's a good fall, even even in case of breakouts also, you know, if uh, breakout at the time of breakouts also, you can uh, look to, you know, chase the breakouts by uh, selling puts. Yeah, now I'll talk about uh, some of the bad uh, things about uh, CSPs. Take an example of uh, a COVID situation. Okay, so during COVID, everything was falling. Now, instead of outright investing, if you chose to do uh, cash secured puts there, say Reliance was trading at around 1000 rupees. So if you sold 1000 put uh, option, even for 50 rupees or so, then you will only make about uh, that time lot size was for 500 of, uh, for Reliance. So you will only make about 25,000. But within two months, Reliance rallied from 1,000 to 1,400. So if there is a big rally in the underlying and you did a cash secured put, you will lose out on the opportunity that you know you could have made much more by uh, directly investing in, in the stock. Same happens, you know, a couple of... Uh, uh, not the cash secured puts ones, but but a uh, couple of uh, trades that I had. I think one was Oro Pharma. So my position got tested in uh, Oro Pharma on the downside, and I took uh, delivery uh, there. Let me see if I can find that. No, I can't. I don't think I've posted that in uh, Twitter. But anyway, I got delivery in Oro Pharma at around 710 levels, okay, 710 levels. It has taken almost six, eight months for Oro Pharma to again come at uh, 710 levels. It has been trading below 710 uh, for, for, for a long, long time. I think it has been six, eight months. It has been the biggest underperformer. Uh, uh, probably one of the biggest underperformers uh, of this entire uh, rally. So that happens sometimes, you know, uh, you get delivery and you take the pain of uh, holding on to that delivery without your uh, stock appreciating. And one more thing, one in case you get delivery, what you can do is you can sell a call, call option and converting uh, uh, that to a uh, covered call. So let's say Reliance, we uh, got delivery at uh, 2500 or whatever price lower. At that point, what you could do is uh, you could, uh, so let's say in April end, you get delivery. So for May, you could have uh, sold a call option. 2700 strike, right now it is trading at 89, obviously, but uh, once you, uh, in case you get delivery in uh, Reliance, in April series, this probably would be around 40, 50 rupees, 40 rupees maybe. So you get to, uh, you get delivery at a lower price, you convert that to a covered call. So in case if stock moves up from there, you 
let go of your delivery uh, let go of your call and again do uh, cash checkout put so again sell a uh, put of a lower strike option so that is sometimes referred as wheel strategy wherein you keep doing cash checkout puts and in case you get delivery you convert it to covered call and once it again uh, moves up and you let go of delivery you again sell cash secured put so that is a uh, wheel strategy which is you know if you can google about it uh, you'll get to know so yeah that's how it works uh, try not to do in a uh, lot of stocks which are you know growth stocks so something like jubilant food or irctc so these are stocks that uh, move a lot you know they they'll move 20% down 30% up so if you are not uh, you know if you are just starting off uh, try to stick to nifty 50 stocks and uh, see if you can find opportunities there once you are comfortable you can do uh, in these stocks but you have to also look at the valuation at which the current uh, at which the stock is uh, trading currently uh all right i think i have talked a lot in this video that's all for now thank you uh, for watching i'll try to make uh, videos frequently uh, going forward thank you